In this video, we are going to be revealing the four major aspects of why you are not seeing great conversion rates with your online dropshipping store. Not too shabby for my fourth day of guitar, not going to lie, so it's still my first week, but it's really fun to learn a new instrument, especially with all this time during the quarantine, because it's always business, 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 but it's also nice to have some other hobbies and other alternative things that you can be doing with your time. Oh. So before we get into the four major aspects, if you can leave a like on this video, because I know you are going to learn some amazing tips that can take your conversion rate to the next level. I've had students that have been able to get 10% conversion rates by implementing the changes you're going to see completely for free in this YouTube video. Let's get it. Now the first reason why you're not seeing an amazing conversion rate on your store is usually predicated on the traffic that you're generating to your store. If I'm playing poker and I've been dealt a poor hand, like a two and a three, I can't do a lot with that. It's not a lot to work with. And for a lot of you, you're generating very, very poor traffic from India, from third world countries, Africa, stuff like that. And there's not a lot that you can do with that traffic because these people don't have a lot of disposable income. And if you're targeting and only getting traffic from these third world countries, you're not going to get sales. Because if they don't have disposable income, how are they supposed to buy what you're selling? They can only buy stuff that's necessities for them. And for the majority of dropshipping products, they're not going to be necessities. It's not water, food, shelter. It's usually like, hey, home decor products, gadgets, cool, interesting items that sort of catch your eye as soon as you see them. So keep in mind, you have to be generating traffic, but not just any kind of traffic. Because bad traffic, you can't do anything with. So you need to be generating premium quality traffic from the first world countries or e-packet countries. So those are the ones I would primarily target because they're the ones with the disposable income that can actually splash the cash a little bit on whatever it is that you're selling. So we've identified that you have a problem. You're generating traffic, but for some reason people aren't buying, and in some cases, they're not even adding to cart. So how can we fix this problem? Well, that means your product page needs some fixing up, and it needs a little bit of a makeover, and I know. Let's get into it. So when it comes to product pages, a lot of people don't have systems for how they write it. Now, if a product needs to be explained, it's a problem-solving product, you need to go in depth of what it does, how it works, all the details people need to know before making that decision to buy. However, if you're selling jewelry, clothing, home decor, anything that's very self-explanatory and isn't necessarily a problem solver, then you don't have to do a lot with the product description. Just throw in some images of the product, have two to three sentences about the product and how it's amazing, how it's perfect for whatever your target customer is looking for. At the end of the day, our job is to convince people that our product is exactly what they need or desire. Now for problem solving products, I really want you to focus on what I'm gonna say here. The three most important things to convey to people is that your product is fast, easy to use, and affordable or different from all the other options on the market, which is why it justifies the higher cost. Now when we're taking a look at this product page, the first thing someone is going to see should be the major benefit. What is the idea, the real summary of what this product can do for you? Well, this product can achieve a professional barbershop haircut in the convenience of your own home. And this takes on two birds with one stone. It tackles, oh, it's fast. You can get a professional barbershop haircut in the convenience of your own home. And especially it tackles, it's easy to use. You can get this desired result in the convenience of your own home. You're an idiot if you don't take it. It's just a no-brainer. So it's a really great headline when describing this product. Now next, they have a GIF, which is awesome. I do recommend having some GIFs, some photos of the product in the actual product description. Having a couple sentences, they really do explain why this product is a necessity. And they also have a great branded name at top. So keep in mind with your product name. That's also extremely important. With your product names, with your website, with anything that you do in business, it has to look branded. Otherwise, people are going to go to your competitors who have done the proper branding. So if you're not branding whatsoever and you're not doing professional business names like Home Barber Trademark, what are people going to do? Well, they're just going to do, oh, professional hair trimmer set. Let me just copy that. I'm going to look it up on Google. I'm sure I can find 10 of these that are going for cheaper. Hey, look, $34.99, eh, $80, but these are all pretty much the same exact product. So I can just compare and find a cheaper deal than going with Prime Palace. But Prime Palace does something smart. They call it the home 
Barber trademark. That sounds extremely branded. It sounds like they own the product and that they're the only place where you can buy it from. At the bottom, they have what's in the box, which is perfect, and they also have a call to action, which we'll get into a little bit later. And finally, at the bottom, they have great quality reviews. That third-party social proof is so vital to convincing people that they need to shop now. And when you're looking at these reviews, these are really detailed. These are not, oh, awesome product, great delivery, came in 30 days, like that generic AliExpress crap that no one actually believes is a real review. These are seriously beautiful, and you can tell they're authentic reviews. It's just amazing. Awesome job from Prime Palace on this one. So let's go into number three. Now, the third reason why people are not buying from your website right now when you are generating traffic is a lack of scarcity or trust. Now, when you're selling anything, you always want to have a timeable as to when the deal can get done. And if it doesn't get done by this certain date, then there's some sort of consequence. So what does Prime Palace do? Well, at the bottom of their product description, when people are coming down here, they see this. My 53% off sale, so my 53% off discount ends at midnight. I have to shop today to get this. Otherwise, I'm going to pay $130 tomorrow when I wake up. Now, obviously, are they actually changing the price? Probably not. I doubt it. But it's a good way of adding some scarcity. I don't really recommend any other way or saying, hey, 56 people are viewing this product. That just looks incredibly spammy and unprofessional. And this just looks incredibly authentic. It's just natural. It doesn't scream out in your face. It's just a simple call to action. Hey, click add to cart before it's too late. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay $130. Now, if I were them, I wouldn't have a markup price of $130 because that just seems unrealistic. Maybe somewhere around $84.99, $99.99. That makes a lot more sense to me. Now, if when it is over 50% off, usually people are more inclined to purchase. But in this case, it is a case-by-case -case basis. You actually have to be able to justify that marked up cost of 130 Like, are people actually going to pay that much for this? Probably not. Now, trust is a variety of factors, and it starts with your color scheme. Now, when we go to one of the competitors, manscaped.com, look at the color scheme here. We got white, black, gold, and that is it. You're not seeing purple, red, all these different colors. It is so beautiful, and they got custom graphics for their product and I'm not saying you have to have your website look like this because this is definitely a really high standard that if you're a beginner it's pretty unattainable to get there and you don't have to design a website that looks like this to get sales I've seen some very very ugly websites with some horrible product descriptions be able to scale to 10k plus a month now all you really need is have good reviews and I'm sure they have some yep they got 890 reviews of this product so have some good reviews, have a good color scheme, make sure that you're hitting the main benefits, the emotional benefits as to why someone should buy your product because we all know people buy with emotion and justify with logic. So we have to be hitting those emotional triggers as to why someone needs to buy. Don't tell them, oh, hey, uh, it comes with five different blade packs. I mean, that's great and all, but that's not gonna be the difference between someone buying or not. It's the emotional. When we go back to Prime Palace, they said, hey, you can achieve a professional barbershop haircut. You don't need your barber because you can get that haircut at home. That is an emotional trigger. That is a beautiful benefit as to why you need to buy this product. Now, I'm not a huge fan of trust badges, at least the spammy ones that are really in your face, like secured with PayPal, American Express, all this stuff. And it's just like, oh my gosh, that looks way too spammy and scammy. And it's one of those things where if I'm a good guy, I don't need to list off all the reasons why I'm a good guy. You'll just sort of figure that out and put the puzzle pieces together based off all the other factors about myself. Now, if you're a professional website and you're a trusted website, you don't need to scream out to people saying, hey, I'm a professional website. You need to trust me. Like they're grabbing you by the shoulders and really saying, you can trust me, man. It, you're you're going to think they're insane. You're going to think it's a scam. So try not to be so in your face with trust badges like something like this really simple it's beautiful it's custom made and it fits with their website and again one last thing they have a sticky add to cart button which is also awesome so when i'm scrolling down and i'm maybe looking at reviews and i decide okay this product is perfect for me i can just press add to cart as simple as that so make sure to have a sticky add to cart so that you make the buying process as easy as possible for your customer now, let's get into the final reason, the final countdown to why your website is not converting at where it should be. Now, you probably notice your product page is the major indicator as to if 
people are gonna buy on your website or not because that is the page that sells everything. That is where people make that decision of whether or not they're gonna buy or not. That's the make or break point. So remember, a lot of the emphasis is on your product page. But let's say you're getting a lot of ads to carts and a lot of checkouts initiated, but you're not getting purchases and you don't know what you're doing wrong. Well, that's when we have to take a look at the checkout page because that's when people are leaving. Now, do you have a logo on your product page? You can even add some trust badges to the right that say, hey, 30 day money back guarantee, something along those lines, you know, worldwide shipping, fast shipping, something that really just tells your customer that you're a reliable and trustworthy business to buy from. Now we are at the final stages. This is the last page before someone buys. They have to choose their shipping method. Now, some people don't have a free shipping option and that is the reason why your conversion rate is not where it's supposed to be at. You're getting a lot of checkouts initiated, but you're losing sales at this page right here, this one, because you're not offering free shipping and a lot of people will never pay for shipping so you have to give them that free shipping option even if it takes two four weeks to get there that's totally fine but you should have a free shipping option because in most cases that is going to be the reason why people are not buying from your website now i also like to add paid shipping options and these are basically just upsells it helps me make more money per sale so my average order value increases and this isn't even anything fancy with every single order it's insured if it doesn't arrive I'm going to refund the order but I still say this and some people will take it so that's just another way to make more money from your customers and increase the average order value and when they see an option like this they are more inclined to take it because like oh I'm protected here so in case this does go wrong I do have a way of getting my money back because I chose priority insured shipping Aye, 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 oh my goodness, the amount of value, the amount of sauce in this video, it's off the charts, it really is, well, that's all the time I have, I have some client calls I have to get to, it's currently 2.28 p.m., my day starts at 2.30, so again, I really did love making this video, and I hope it does help you out, so remember, those are the four major aspects as to how to increase your conversion rate. This has been a really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, because you already know, your boys drop in value week after week after week until I die, man. Until they carry me off in that casket. But my name's Ethan Dobbins, and it is a pleasure getting to entertain and educate you at the same time. Remember, stay humble and do numbers.